Oh yeah, wander in the forest, looking for lobsters. Lobster mushrooms, that is. There's one, down under the sword ferns, just peeking out. It was so big I had to bring it out to an open spot where I could show it to you. The white cracks show the original Russia Brevipus mushroom that's been parasitized by the orange Hypomyces lactiflorum mold that makes the lobster mushroom so good to eat. I think it looks like bacon. Yeah, a whole half a pound of bacon. I think I can use that for a whole meal all by itself. As beautiful as this big lobster mushroom is, it just makes it easier to cut that big cap into three smaller pieces and then take it into the kitchen. Since these lobster mushrooms look like bacon, I'm going to cook them like bacon. The first step is to slice them up thin. You can see that lobster mushrooms are a dense mushroom. They are easy to slice. And you can see that I'm slicing these lobster mushrooms right about the same thickness as bacon. And I cook them like bacon right in a skillet. I do have to add some oil. It doesn't really matter what kind. Use whatever you like. In my last lobster mushroom recipe video, where I braised them with wine and thyme, I asked for your favorite way to cook lobster mushrooms. Jay Tuppence says that they like to fry them in butter until the lobster mushrooms are almost crispy. That sounds good, Jay Tuppence. It may be a lot like this. Let me know. And Afki Zonderland says that they like their lobster mushrooms cooked in butter and garlic. That sounds really good, too. Thanks, Afki. I'm always looking for good ways to cook lobster mushrooms, so if you have a favorite, let me and everybody else know down in the comments. Oh yeah, look at that. It's like a little piece of bacon. When they're sliced thin like this, it doesn't take very long for the lobster mushrooms to get cooked all the way through like they need to be. Then it's time to serve them up. But don't leave the flavors in that pan no, put something in. I'm putting in some lamb's quarter leaves. It only takes a couple minutes to get those cooked down and ready to put on the plate. I have other videos on foraging and cooking with lamb's quarter. I'll put links to those videos in the description down below. And there it is. We've got blackberries, potatoes, lamb's quarter, and lobster mushroom bacon. That is a good dinner. Here's a live taste review. Oh yeah. That was so, so good. Hardly any ingredients, but man, that is good. That was so good. I hope you get to try some lobster mushroom bacon yourself sometime. I hope things are going well at your place. Thanks for watching. Bye.